Goes up for the fastball. Tomahawks a high drive to right. That is off the wall. Rosario with a leadoff double. That thing was like neck high. He loves the high fastball and he loves the swing at it. I mean, you're going to sit there and as a pitcher, you're going to be in awe. You think, well, I threw the pitch I wanted and he gets on top of it. You got a lot of data on a lot of different players and sometimes a player gets the best of a better pitch. I mean, that is as high of a pitch. You'll see a guy almost hit a ball out of the park. Wow. That's a walk in the first two reach for the Twins in the second. Two runners on. He shoots a base hit to left field. Station to station as Stanton picks it up quickly. And the Twins have loaded the bases in the second with nobody out. Eight at bats, six strikeouts in this series for Miguel Sano. He's got the bases loaded with his team down one nothing, second inning. Down two games to none in this best of five. I know it's easier said than done. You tell yourself, you go up to the plate, you look for a fastball. Hitters don't want to come off fastballs. But if you see anything spinning on the first pitch, you've got to tell yourself, don't swing. Make them throw it for a strike. But again, easier said than done. Base is loaded, you're down 2 0, you want to make something happen for your team. Ball. One ball, no strikes. Twins have not had a crooked number on the scoreboard yet in this series. Saw spin, took it for a strike. We've had four solo run innings. This crowd will get absolutely bonkers if Sano is able to find the gap or drive in a couple. Rosario started the inning with a double. Garver walked, Arise single. And the Twins offense that was just a tick behind the Yankees in terms of runs this season. Only managing six over the first two games of the series. Looking for some here in the second. No. That's a fastball that he lays off two and one. I guess we're going to have a check swing uh, marathon tonight. Bunch see who, of them early, huh? <laughs> see who's actually going to get the first call on the check swing. This is a really good fastball that I was pretty much thinking a slider was coming now Severino can get out of this inning without much damage because you've got two guys that he's been able to handle with strikeouts if he executes the pitches veteran Gonzalez on deck on a 2 1 so swings to a fastball and it's two and two what a classic power against power matchup here with Luis Severino and Miguel Sano. Now he's got Sano totally confused on what he's going to do. He's mixed in more fastballs than I thought we'd see with the bases loaded, and Sano has missed them. Slider. He's got me confused. That's a, that's that's <laughs> a great job by Severino because you're thinking about certain trends that you see and you watch the videos and you see the matchups, but he's kind of gone a little bit against the grain here. And maybe the bases loaded have something to do with it. Here comes his 2 2. Ooh, man. Hanger, huh? Got away with it. Now you got two school of thoughts here as a pitcher. You know you just threw a bad one. You feel like you could throw a better one off that than throw it. If it got any doubt at all, you got to go back to the fastball. That was always the number one rule for most pitchers. If you threw a slider that you got away with that you knew was bad, you absolutely will make the adjustment on this next pitch. Base is loaded. Second inning. Another 2 2 pitch. Sano lifts it foul. Went back to the fastball at 99. It has all come together this year for Miguel Sano, All Star in 2017. A nightmare of a season last year where he was sent back to the minors. He hit 199, managed his 13 home runs all season. He reshaped his body in the winter, which totally changed his work ethic. 
Uh, Severino hasn't gotten one pitch off the plate on the outside part. Not one. Can he get it there? Another 2-2. Two -two. Oh. What a take from Sonoda on the count full. And he got it there. That was a great pitch. Now we've showed early in the game uh, a rip of pitches that the Minnesota Twins pitchers were not able to get and a lot of good takes that the Yankees were able to make. And there's one right there. Three two pitch right here has not gone the, the, the Twins win way so far. They got to win three two battle. Not expand the zone. Be disciplined as much as possible. Lost that battle clearly in the two games in the Bronx. On a payoff pitch, Miguel Sano swings away, pops it sky high in the infield. And it will be DJ LeMahieu with the infield fly rule in effect for out number one. The Sano makes him work, but Severino ultimately wins the battle. And up comes Marwin Gonzalez. This was an outstanding job by Severino. Pitch by pitch, he attacks him early. He gets the ball. He comes back in with a breaking ball and gets the call. I'll tell you, when you go every other pitch here and you confuse the hitter and he misses the fastball, here's the pitch of the night that could have gone the way coming up right here for the Minnesota Twins. But Severino came right back with a good fastball and got him to pop up. Still not out of the woods. Base is still loaded. With one gone, one of the most experienced postseason players on this roster, Marwin Gonzalez, takes ball one. Fourth postseason trip over the last five years. And his first season here in Minnesota, previously with the Houston Astros. And he wasn't just along for the ride. Some big moments for him. The game tying home run against Kenley Jansen, game two of the World Series in 2017. He's driven in nine in his last eight postseason games. On this 1 0. He hits it foul and it's one and one. That was the pitch right there. He would like to have back. There's two sliders in these last two at bats that Minnesota Twins normally do some damage. This one's middle middle and he just overswings it and fouls it off. The bases loaded should be the ultimate pressure on the pitchers. But you've seen situations if the hitting is not situational you can get out of a jam. Because now he's just a ground ball away double play from getting out of here without any giving up any runs but it should be the highest. Pressure situation of making pitches for a pitcher. Especially in the postseason. Twins needed badly down one nothing Gonzalez swings and misses at a sharp breaking pitch one and two. Home runs haven't been there at the rate that they were during the regular season for Minnesota and they've struggled with runners in scoring position two for 17 in this series. That's his kryptonite as most left handers would tell you that. They like the ball down and in but they don't like the ball a little bit below down and in. The one two. He struck him out with the same pitch. First of the game for Severino is a big one and now he's right on the doorstep of getting out of this second inning jam. Can't execute any better than that. I mean you could put a hat right on top of those two baseballs and where he threw them. And they started in the zone and broke out of the zone. And for a guy who's trying his best to make contact. Can't stay back long enough. And this is really now up to. Mr. Cave to try to come up with a huge two out hit because bases loaded nobody out. And this crowd has been standing looking for something to explode over. So the nine hitter cave takes oh. ball one. Jake Cave back and forth between the majors and the minors this season. It's become more and more important with some of the injuries they've dealt with, notably Byron Buxton. 26 years old in his second year with Major League Time. One of his biggest at bats ever. One ball, one strike. Hardest thing to do is stay back 
and let the pitch get deep because most people are trying to get the ball in the air and pull it. And if you're trying to pull it and you're thinking it's a fastball, you're going to swing over the top of a breaking ball. The only way the breaking ball becomes bad is if it's fat over the middle of the plate to the left hander here. Sticks with a fastball to the corner one and two. Luis Severino trying to bully his way out of this jam. A double, a walk, and a single to load the bases before he had the first out. The one two to Cave. Punch behind third, and we'll do it again. Twenty eight pitches this inning for Luis Severino. Aaron Boone said he could see him going anywhere. Seventy five ninety five pitches. Yeah well he's made about eight of the best pitches you can make under the circumstances and that's all that Aaron Boone would like to see him make his ninth one right here. That just some ridiculous looking sliders from him. Here in just his fourth game in the majors in 2019. High with a fastball and it's two and two. Top of the order after Cave. Critical spot early in this game. Bases loaded, two gone, and a 2 2 pitch. He struck him out, landed another slider. And Luis Severino with a magic act to get out of the second unscathed.